Hey there, I wanted to quickly talk about the difference between client-side and server-side components in the latest version of Next.js. So by default, components in Next.js are rendered on the server. And basically, uh, you want to use server components when you don't have interactivity on the page, meaning you're not using any hooks like use state or use effect um, or just changing the state. So we can see in this example, we're not using any of those types of hooks. So by default, this is a server-side component. If we want to mark a component as client-side, for example, editable page is a client-side component. So at the top of the file, we add this use client directive, which basically means this is an interactive component. The user can click on buttons, move things around. So we need the use state and use effect here, which makes it a use client component. And let me show you in the Next.js documentation when you use use client versus uh, server components. So this is from the Next.js docs. We can see the client components here. If you need to have any interactivity on the page or event listeners like on click, on change, you use a client component. Um, again, lifecycle hooks, use state, use effect, browser only APIs, like if you need to manage like the window object as well. Um, you would use client components and um, React class components are only supported by use client or client components as well. On the server instead is if you need to access backend resources directly, fetch data or get, database, get data from a database, um, have access to API keys. So uh, like basically you want to use server components as frequently as possible, but if you need the user to be able to interact with the page, like click buttons, um, you're going to have to mark them as use client, such as this. Hopefully that makes things a bit clearer when you use use client and server components.